Tonight, the California Highway Patrol is altering its recruitment process due to COVID-19. KSBY News reporter Sydney Brandt spoke with CHP officers and has more on the challenges recruiters are facing and what it means for public safety. One recruiter I spoke with says that the pandemic has increased those interested in joining the academy, and this comes at a time when many are stepping down from their service. It's a rigorous process. Good. Candidates lining up for the chance to serve the highways and their community, but now doing so safely. We do uh, the push-ups on a mat that each applicant has to clean after they're done with it. The sit-ups the same way. And then highly sanitized mats. Prior to the pandemic, physical testing and written exams for the California Highway Patrol were done in one day with more than 100 applicants. Now testing is done in groups no larger than 15 at a time and completed fully outdoors. These changes haven't hindered interest in joining the force. It's been a beneficial thing for us as we've seen our numbers climb as far as recruitment numbers. 30 seconds. Candidate Giancarlo Antonelli says he hopes to follow in the footsteps of family members in law enforcement. Hearing their stories and how much they've loved their jobs uh, is what invigorated me to want to come out here and try out. Despite nationwide unrest, many agencies have faced this year. And for the CHP, now may just be the right time to get in as more and more doors are opening for candidates. Typically, the California Highway Patrol will retire about 300 officers a year. It's about 30 or so officers each month. Uh, this particular year, it appears that we have probably going to triple that amount, upwards into about 900 to 1,000 officers that may retire. Only 1% of those who apply will secure a job with CHP, and it's unlikely they will work locally until they gain senior status. But candidates are still eager to join. Now more than ever, you need people that um, feel called to it and want to do it the right way. Officer Richard says that so far they've seen a diverse group of candidates across the Central Coast, but they're hoping to see more female candidates apply. Reporting in San Luis Obispo, Sydney Brandt, KSBY News. Well, CHP says the exact number of officers retiring this year will be available at the end of December.